Hey guys, my name is Andrew, and today I'm gonna to show you how to EQ and compress a live vocal. All right, let's just jump right into it and hear what the raw vocal sounds like with no EQ, no compression, just a little bit of pitch correction done to it. And out, just as I am, you pull me in and I Great, it sounds like a raw live vocal. So let's go ahead and put a high pass filter on it. I know I need you All right, so I'm gonna open up the EQ, turn on the high pass filter, and roll it up to about 140. That's where I like to start vocals at. If you go much lower than that, you end up with a lot more of the, the rumble of the room and the plosives of their vocal. And if you go higher, you lose a lot of the depth and body in the vocal. That's so critical. All right, so now for EQ. I like to start with a band in the lower mid-range, boosting until I find the most obnoxious frequency, and then cut that pretty wide. So here's this lower mid-band. I'm gonna move it around. Somewhere in that range sounds pretty annoying, and so I'm just gonna cut a ton of that. Great, and then now I do the same thing for the upper mid-range to find any sort of nasally boxiness or a little bit of harshness. Great, and so that's the majority of the EQ work that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a couple more minor cuts with the upper band and the low band just to kind of finalize it. All right, so I'm gonna use this upper band, find something harsh and annoying. Yeah, that's harsh. Cut some of that. And now it sounds a little muddy, so I'm gonna take that low band and get rid of some of that. My heart needs a surgeon, my soul needs a friend, so I'll yep. run to the right there. father again and again. All right, I think that sounds pretty good for a live vocal, so now let's move on to compression. When it comes to compression, there are really four main parameters you need to worry about. Attack, release, ratio, and threshold. So let's start with attack. Attack is how quickly the compressor is going to react when you put a transient through it. So a transient is a peak in audio. So that would be like a, a big note that she sings or on a different instrument, it'd be like a drum that the actual peak of the hit of a drum would be what's called the transient. So with our attack, we can control how much of that we want. Typically for a vocal, I like to go somewhere in the seven to 13 millisecond range. I'll lean more towards seven if the vocal is more aggressive and more towards 13 if it's soft. Since this one is pretty soft, I'm gonna to go to 13. All right, number two, release. So release is the amount of time after it compresses that it lets go of that compression. And so you can basically think of release as the shorter the amount of time, the closer what you're listening to is gonna feel. Some people always wanna do the fastest release from a compressor. There's nothing wrong with that, but I find typically that I like to live somewhere in the 100 to 300 range. This is also something where in a live environment, if you're fighting feedback, raising your release a little bit can sometimes help you with that. I'm gonna put this release somewhere in the like 250 range. All right, next we're actually gonna talk about threshold because threshold is the line at which the volume, when it passes a certain point and it passes that threshold, then it starts compressing. If it's below the threshold, nothing happens as far as the compressor is concerned. But once it passes it, it starts compressing. That's threshold. Now, ratio is the amount that it does after it passes that threshold. So you get to control how aggressive the compressor is once it passes that line. A lot of consoles will only have a handful of options for ratio, and so I would start with four. The console I'm working on right now allows you to do whatever ratio you want, but I'm still gonna put it at four. All right, now I'm gonna start some music and I'm gonna lower the threshold until I get about six dB of gain reduction. Just as I am, you pull me in and I To the Father, I fall into grace. 
I'm done with the hiding, no reason to wait. My heart needs a surgeon. All right, that sounds pretty good to me for a live vocal. So now we're going to turn on the reverb and effects, and then I'm also going to open up the rest of the band. Just as I am, you pull me in, and I know I need you now. So I run to the Father, I fall into grace. I'm done with the hiding, no reason to wait. My heart needs a surgeon, my soul. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys later.